easy to maneuver, petrol free, and quite a lot of fun on two wheels. E-scooters are fast becoming a feature of urban transport in the quest for more sustainable ways to travel. At the end of the day, it's a race for territory. Uh, there's so many cities and towns out there that are craving this micro-mobility solution, uh, but just yet not being fulfilled. Under the right circumstances, these vehicles can massively reduce congestion and carbon emissions. I think this is the perfect way to, um, to reduce those for sure, particularly for trips from one to six kilometers. This London event showcases a whole range of sustainable, sometimes futuristic ways of getting around town. But e-scooters are already on the market. I think it feels faster than it is, but of course, I'm going around a test track with no one around. In real life, there'll be pedestrians, cars, other obstacles, which is why there are big questions about e-scooters and safety. I think you've got to decide on what an e-scooter actually is. Uh, is it a, a motorised vehicle or is something that's actually uh, able to be driven on the pavement? And therefore, if it's a, an e an e vehicle, that is not a problem. You could have that and you could have them in cycle lanes, you could have them in different parts, but it's to do with what you categorise them as. And I think that's the big challenge. And new technology always needs new rules. Um, what we do is to ensure you have a safe vehicle that is constantly the, the latest of everything. Uh, we educate our users. We also uh, launched a traffic test. And an interesting fact there is what we're seeing, uh, a lot of 18 to 25 year olds are postponing taking a driver's license because they don't need a driver, they, they don't plan on buying a car. So we've set up our own traffic school, a traffic test, to actually educate users on you know, the rules of the road. And I think that is important as well. So people are becoming more aware of these vehicles on the roads, drivers in particular, um, and cycle lane infrastructure, where the vehicles will be ridden, is, is improving. So it's, it's a safer environment now as time goes on. Scooter companies in San Francisco now need permits. France has blocked them riding on pavements. In Singapore, they're only allowed on bike paths. In the UK, it's illegal to ride e-scooters on roads, but there will be a British government consultation on e-scooters. Until there's legislation, there's no way to insist on safety standards or reinforce the rules of the road. <laughs> Juliet Mann, CGTN, London.